This week, a special edition of Inside MMA. An all-star cast awaits Kenny and Boss as the boys take the show on the road. As we head to Moline, Illinois, site of Adrenaline MMA 2. We'll give you a closer look at the return of Pat Militich. The 2008 K-1 World Grand Prix has come and gone. But if you missed it, we've got a strike-filled recap ready to go. And as always, Ron Kruk will offer his weekly fill of news and notes. So stay tuned. Inside MMA is coming up next. Welcome to a very special edition of Inside MMA, coming to you from a hotbed of MMA on a cold December night in the Quad Cities, where earlier tonight, as we tape this here in Moline, the Croatian sensation returned to action and did so, so successfully. And what a Hall of Fame lineup we have. Hi, I'm Kenny Rice, along with the Hawkeye of the heel hook himself, Boss Rutten. Okay, now I can't do the heel hook, but there we have Jens. We Paul. have a guest. Jens, guess, please guess, your leg. The guest. <laughs> Underneath your armpit. The guest foot. <laughs> <laughs> and now you just break and snap now, it up. You, you know, just start cranking. You, you know what's funny is there's two guys sitting on the panel wanting me to keep going. You know, <laughs> keep cranking. You're wanting yeah, me to keep yeah, going. There you go. Don't break the genome. All right. Heel hook. Yeah. There are very few places that we come to in our travels really all over the world where you can come and have this kind of legendary lineup that we have for you today and that of course is right here in the Midwest with this who's who starting with Mr. Pat Militic himself what a great return Jens Pulver on lead guitar and Matt Hughes joins us as well welcome I'm, I'll, be, I'll play bass you can play bass Guys, if you guys can live here, it's way too cold. How Look at it, it's this championship row. Championship row, championship here. Hey, all over the place. It's all over the place. Old man now. You, you know, might have noticed <laughs> that earlier tonight as we taped this, after an absence uh, since September of 2006, Pat Militich returns to action tonight. Congratulations. Huge victory. Second round knockout of Thomas Denny, Pat. Uh, thanks. It was, it was fun to get back in there. You seem to be having fun. I was trying to. I just... Just really didn't want to lose again, to be honest with you. And you seem, uh, you know, we talked about that earlier. We talked yesterday at the gym. It's not a good way to go out with the loss, especially with the great career that you've had. Especially at home. Yeah. <laughs> you went you know, with a bang. Yeah. Though. A big bang. Double bang, actually. One to set it up, and the other one was a crushing right. It was like a Jens Pulver knockout. Right? <laughs> and Ryan, steel. Stone. <laughs> Tied by him. <clears throat> It was smooth. Thank you. It was on time. <laughs> you moved like you were 25 again. 40. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it. I think he's older, but hey. Let's be honest. Yeah. Matt, how was his footwork tonight, did you think? He looked great. The only thing I kept looking at and watching was how Thomas Denny felt. Because when I got here with Pat, I had headgear on, and he had 16-ounce gloves on. So, I mean, I knew what, what, what Thomas was thinking the whole time. Pat's got an incredibly fast jab that he didn't use a whole lot today. You went straight to the power for, <laughs> for some reason. No. Twos and threes. So, I mean, uh, it was just a matter of time before Pat, Pat got the timing down and, uh, and uh, landed some big shots, no doubt about it. How important was that first round for you? I mean, you lost the first round against Henzo Gracie over two years ago. How important was that early part of this fight? Well, thank you for reminding me about Henzo. <laughs> number one. Like you know nobody else admits well, that. that. Like you hadn't been thinking about that for two years. You see, you see when you do basketball commentary sometimes it's 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 not so bad to lose a basketball game it's pretty bad to lose a fight though you, you know you get hurt and things like that but uh you know getting through the first round uh you know it was just uh, a feeling out process to be honest with you right when i heard him with the left hook early on in the fight uh and took him down i just i just wanted to take a deep breath and, and get some work in and you know when when we were on the sideline we were watching and uh <coughs> I was yelling at Pat to, to try and come up and come with some big shots, and Robbie Lawler leaned over and said, hey, the longer this fight goes, the more confidence Pat's going to get. And once I started thinking about what Robbie said, I knew that that confidence is what's going to tear uh, Thomas Denny down. So, I mean, the longer that fight went, the, the sharper and cr more crisp Pat was going to start fighting. And let's take a look at the sharp, crisp Pat Militich in action as it unfolded against the wild man, Thomas Denny. And you know, he's a dangerous fighter. We talked about this, Pat. He throws the elbows, he throws a little bit of everything. I was, I was pretty worried about getting cut, actually. I mean, uh, yeah. he does like to throw oh, elbows. That was First, yeah. Both! Right away down, early in the round, number one. Just threw him down there. I caught him a little off balance, I think. More than anything. there with your uh, cup. 
<laughs> As we get ready, our good now. friend Lori. Yep. Yes, good to see. Here we go. Good to see the girls back from the old IFL days. Now moving on to the second round. You were very confident on your, in your stand-up tonight. Straight from Denny comes in out yeah, I threw a couple inside kicks to mess with him. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, there it was. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty nice, wasn't it? Yeah, he was extremely nice. You know, it's funny that Thomas was in a bad situation, and he never stopped throwing punches. You really got to take your hand off to him. He, he was in there to fight, no doubt about it, up until the very end. Uh, you know, he lost the first round pretty convincingly. And he still come out in that second round and, and tried to get Pat everything he had. You know what? It was a lot of fun to see you, Robbie Lawler, and you. You were standing, you were hugging each other, and we're jumping up. And we, <laughs> when the fight was over, we did. We grabbed each other, and it was it was old times. It was, it was, it was old old times. You were sitting like this, Matt, like this at the beginning of the fight. On the we're end of the day, <laughs> you know, we're swaying. Everybody's moving out of the way. We yeah, got they were there for you, Pat. That was and, awesome. And you know, that, that, speaks, that speaks volumes. So many great athletes, as you know, as all you guys know, that have had amazing Hall of Fame careers, have not always gone on to be successful coaches, managers, whatever the sport. He happens to be one. You happen to be one with, uh, well, flanking you right now, two of your four UFC champs. I'm, you know, he's got a team going now, and I'm waiting on him to get a team going so that my fighters can kick the hell out of him. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a head start on his pad. Now, come on. It was a strong return overall for the Militich fighting system tonight. We will talk more about that in a moment.